Hey guys, so today's video is my monthly favorites video and I'm really excited about this one because I've not done a favorites video in quite a while. I thought it was time to finally sit down and compile some things that I have been loving. Truth be told, this is not just a July favorites, but it is what I've been loving over the past like at least few months. So I have a decent amount. We're gonna go ahead and just jump in. First, I have something for the body. One of my friends on Instagram actually recommended this. I forget who it was, but I have been really, really liking it. It is from Target. This is the brand Flamingo. It's a light hydrating spray, and this is basically a spray moisturizer. So, goes on like this, and then I do recommend um, rubbing it in. It's slightly botanical smelling. It's it's really nice, but not enough of a fragrance to compete with like a perfume. Just a little bit of this is enough to make me feel hydrated and it makes my skin look hydrated. So when I'm running out the door and I just need a little bit of hydration like on my legs so I don't look ashy, things like that. This is just so fast, quick, easy. Really, really like it and it's from Target. So had to recommend that to you guys. Next, I just started using this again. I used to, I don't know if rave about it is the right verbiage, but I used to talk really highly about this and I stopped using it. Uh, let me just say, okay. So what I'm talking about is the La Vanilla deodorant in Sport Lux. So this is the healthy deodorant solid stick and it's in the Sport Lux formula, which as far as I know is just their more intense formula as far as scent goes. And I feel like it keeps me more dry than the regular formula. I don't know. What I do know about the Sport Lux is it's very intensely fragranced. It smells like laundry detergent, basically. What I like about this is that it works on my skin. It is a natural formula. I believe it is completely aluminum free. Yes, it is. And it's just a little bit more of like a clean beauty product for your deodorant. Um, it is not an antiperspirant, but I don't feel like I sweat that much to where I really need an antiperspirant. Um, what I really look for is just something that is going to make me smell good all day long. Again, I've already mentioned Florida heat. It is insanely hot like every single day the feels like on my weather app is 100 degrees so i know it gets hotter some places but it's it's very very hot and humid and this really keeps me smelling good and feeling like i smell good keeps me confident in that all day long so side story i did used to love this and then i stopped using it because I felt like the bottle that I got or the stick that I got at one point or another was very dry. Like when I was applying it, it was like tugging at my skin. And I don't know, like that made me turn off, be turned off about this brand or this exact product. Um, but I picked it up again because I saw it on Amazon and I've just been wanting a different type of deodorant. The deodorant I was using was leaving like so much white marks and like flaking on my underarms and then again on my clothes. It was very obnoxious. So I was just like, let me try it again. Maybe I, it was a fluke that I got a bad stick. And I feel like that probably was the problem because now I'm super happy with this. So I'm gonna keep using it and let you guys know, probably like in an end of the year favorites, if it's really continuously um, working out for me when I purchase more and more sticks of it. So I'll let you know, but I am loving that right now. Another product that I have been really liking, actually though for a while, this is not new to me, I've had it for quite a few months, this is a standout product, no questions asked, holy grail, you really need it in your life. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, party all night, stay all day. This was recommended by so many, or has been recommended by so many YouTubers that I follow. One in particular is Babs Beauty, Stephanie, I, I'm obsessed, but she had talked about this being her absolute favorite setting spray and that it really stood out from other setting sprays that she's tried. So I wanted to get it and I have to agree with her. I am a die hard 
supporter of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but I have to tell you, while that one is so good and I always recommend it and think it's worth the money, this is just a little bit better, guys, as far as long wearing makeup. The Mister, I actually haven't sprayed this yet, so we'll go ahead and do it and I'll show you what it's like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, here's one of the things that I like about it. I What I really like is the performance of it. Like this will make your makeup last. You actually feel it setting down on your skin, which if you're a full glam wearer, you will appreciate that. But the other thing I like is the spray. It is a fine mist, no large droplets, but it's not so fine to where it's like, where is it? Did I even get it on my, no, my face feels wet after I apply it. And that's honestly what I want because you saw how much I spray. I want to feel it all over. So I know that it's completely covered my face and it's going to sit on all of those areas everywhere and lock everything down. So sometimes when you get these really, really like fine, fine mists, it's nice and I appreciate it, but I end up putting it this close to my face because I want to feel it on my skin. So this to me is like the absolute perfect mist ever. I don't know. I've also had this for months and like look how long it's lasted me. I do have other setting sprays that I use, but this has still lasted me a really good time, um, amount of time. My point is it is a step above the rest and I do think that you have to try it for yourself. A couple of complexion products. One, you guys are going to hate me. I just put up a video about this but I've worn it several times and I know how I feel. So get over it. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer. This product, I will link the video if you haven't seen my first impression on it. This is so good and this is what I was freaking looking for when I've been having this search of like, what can I get that is kind of like a makeup tint or a foundation tint, but it's a step above a tinted moisturizer. Like I don't F around with tinted moisturizer, okay? I need more coverage than that. Um, otherwise, like I don't see the point for me personally, especially being again, like a usually full glam person, I want more coverage, but I also don't want something that's fussy, like that I have to use a sponge, a dampened sponge or a special brush or anything, or I have to really make sure. I just want something I can throw on, buff into the skin, or even something I can use with my fingers and kind of rub all over for those light, no fuss, I'm just like natural girl next door type days. Um, they don't happen that often, but they do happen. And this is the product for me. So it is a very liquidy type product that you do want to shake up. It has a squeeze tube formula that is very convenient and I think hygienic as well. It wears very well and it is natural looking. It is not heavy. It is not full coverage, but it is a light coverage. And that tends to be enough for me on those types of days. It's also slightly buildable. So if I have something on my chin, that's just like, I just need a little bit more pigment there. This does it for me. I'm, I'm honestly so, so happy with this. Does Estee Lauder just know what the hell they're doing with complexion? I feel like they do. So had to shout that product out. The other complexion product that I have is from Dose of Colors. This is the Meet Your Hue Concealer. I know this has been out for a very long time. Like I literally think it's been five years or something. This was recommended again by another friend on Instagram. I really love having people over there to interact with about anything, but especially about like makeup and when people give me recommendations, I really take it to heart. And so I appreciate it. But anyways, I tried this because of her. I also tried the foundation, which I do like. I just don't know yet if it's like to the status where I have to have it in a favors video, but this I do really like. I'm wearing it today for my under eyes. It is a very full coverage concealer, very pigmented, but not as dry as a couple concealers that I have tried in the past, like Tarte Shape Tape and the Jouer Full Coverage Concealer. 
Both of those are the very similar coverage, if not the same coverage as this, but this is less dry. Now, that being said, I do feel like when I apply this, it looks the best when I have hydrated my under eye area. So I wouldn't apply this on like crepey skin. I wouldn't apply this on, you know, really dry, like flaky under eye area. I really think that you need to have normal, even oily skin would be great, but at least normal skin. And it is beneficial to hydrate that area before using this. Um, but that's no problem. Typically when I'm applying my moisturizer, I apply it under my eyes or I go in with an eye cream and go all over. I really do like this. It's great at being long wearing. It's great at coverage that I already mentioned. The other thing that I really like for this is as an eyeshadow primer. When I apply this, I just, it's like a creamy feeling product. And I'll talk about the next product that I have to mention. You guys, I'm sure knew I was gonna mention this. This is one of the Rare Beauty brushes. This is the concealer brush, but I use this brush to apply my primer, my eye primer, and this is a fantasy, okay? This works so well together. I really, really like it. And because it's so pigmented, it covers up any like pigmentation, any veins on my eyelids. It really is a nice base for eyeshadow. So I'm getting a lot of use out of this. I really like it a lot. Now that I mentioned though, the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, let me also mention the foundation brush. This is absolutely phenomenal. I really, really like it. I almost feel like a broken record because I've talked about it so much. Um, it's obviously exactly like the concealer, only it's large. This is just so nice. The shape, the style of it being slightly curved like this, the quality is really, really nice. Pretty packaging as well, if I can add. So these two brushes, fantastic. Another brush though, that I really need you to pay attention to this. If you're just listening, take a stop and actually look at the video. This next brush is what I've always dreamed of. Are you taking me seriously? Because I need you to. This was actually recommended by, I know it's getting scary how much I mentioned Babs Beauty on my channel. I'm really sorry to be such a hardcore fan, but I have to tell you how exciting it was when I DM'd her and asked her for a recommendation and she responded with this brush. So I had asked, what is your favorite bronzer brush, brush, especially for like powder bronzer? And she gave me a couple options. One of them I am still interested in trying out, but it is a little more expensive. This one, however, I had never heard anyone ever mention this brand. It's called Royal and Langnickel. Has anyone ever heard of or tried their brushes? I, I literally, it's brand new to me. This is their Omnia Bomb, B-O-M, dash 36 powder brush. I'm gonna link it down below, so don't worry. But this brush for powder bronzer, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm telling you, it is a natural hair brush, which I love for face powder products. The way it picks it up, the way it holds on to the powder product is just superior, in my opinion, to synthetic. And the shape, as you can hopefully tell, is just absolutely perfect. So it's pinched here and then it's rounded. Let me show you what I was using before. You guys are gonna die. So this is the Tom Ford brush. The Tom Ford 05, very well-known, beautiful, beautiful face brush. However, this is the same shape, only this is so big. This is still a great brush, but if I had to pick, I would pick this one. And let me just mention, this is also like $25 versus this is 115, okay? So I actually like this one better. It's the shape, it's the texture, it's the size, it's the price. This is phenomenal. So I hope you guys will try that out. You need to. Okay, moving on, I have a highlighter that I recently tried. I think it was like a trying new makeup or something, I'm not sure. But I recently tried this and I love it. It is the highlighter I'm wearing right now. This is my first ever product from Nabla and it just makes me wanna try more, you guys. This is the Skin Glazing 
Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Ozone. Beautiful champagne shade. I will swatch it for you. Like I said, it's what I have on my cheeks and a little on my forehead, um, on my chin. This is it here. It is very thin in formula and very, very high shine. I mean, this is like in your face highlight, but in a sophisticated way because it does not sit on top of your skin and look like a stripe. It truly blends in with your skin and I just, I cannot stop using this. This is probably my favorite highlight in my collection right this minute. I absolutely love it and had to talk about it in today's video. Next, I have a couple of eyeliners and this is more of a concept that I wanna talk about as a favorite versus necessarily these exact products, but what I've been loving the past like eight months has been gel, like pot gel liner. And I know that's not a new concept for people. I kind of strayed away from using them. I was using more of like a pencil or a like pen eyeliner or a felt tip. And then I started using a gel again and I have not stopped. I really, really like it. The one that I have, I have one on for my winged liner today. And the one that I most often use is actually from MAC. Do you guys remember the brand? It's been around for a while, but I feel like nobody talks about it anymore. This is Dip Down, and this is the Pro Longwear Fluid Line. I've had this for months, and I still have so much left, and it has lasted me so long. It is still so, so creamy. Um, I wanted to mention, too, the two brushes that I use with it, because, of course, for me, one just wouldn't be enough. I use this angled brush from Sonia Kashik very inexpensive. I think this is like $8 brush. Works phenomenally. And then another brush that I really like for like the inner part of my eye, because I want the thinnest line possible right there, is this one from Sigma. This is the E06 winged liner brush. Look at how teeny tiny that is. If you are a beginner with winged liner, um, actually it's because I just used it, you can barely see the angle, but it is an angled brush. If you are a beginner or if you have small eyes or if you have very hooded eyes or whatever the case may be, this could be a really good option for you. It is so tiny, it's very detailed. So I like both of those a lot. But like I mentioned, gel liner in general has been really, really awesome for me. Um, and I do wanna just shout out one more. And that is such a cult favorite product that has been around since I started doing makeup, which is from Inglot. This is the number 77 just eyeliner gel. This is the most matte, black, creamy, I mean inky black gel liner I've ever seen. This is the end all be all black gel liner for sure. Speaking of MAC, I do have a lipstick that I have never tried. This is not new, but I had never tried it and I picked it up not that long ago. I'm actually wearing it now, but it's kind of fading and I really, really love it for an everyday shade. And if you have not put on a MAC lipstick in a while, you really need to. The smell, you just, you almost forget how good they are. And then you put one on and you're like, this is the best lipstick I've ever tried. Like the smell and taste and formula of MAC lipsticks are really some of the best out there in my opinion. This is the shade Peach Blossom. And it's just a really nice nude, but not too pale. And also this is, I believe a cream sheen. Yeah, cream sheen. So it's not super, super opaque. Uh, it's got a little sheerness to it, but it still gives you some color. And I just really like it. I've been kind of grabbing for it almost on a daily basis. So thought I would mention it. Then I have another lip product that is absolutely one of a kind, truly a standout product in my collection. Like I don't, I don't rave that hard about lip glosses unless it really, really goes in for me but this is one of them. And this is the Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Cherry. This formula and this shade is supreme. Absolutely like going to be in my yearly favorites. It is so phenomenal. 
It is like juicy, juicy watermelon popsicle. And I cannot, I can't get enough of it. It is, tastes so good, smells so good, looks gorgeous. High, high, juicy shine, gel-like formula. Uh, guys, this is like summer juice lip gloss. I cannot get enough of it. I know they're gonna come out with more colors, I'm sure, because this is just number one hot cherry but they did it right with this shade because it is gorgeous. Now the heat line does have a tingle to it because it's supposed to be kind of like plumping. I do think the word heat is appropriate though because it's not really minty. It's more of like a cinnamon tingle. It is not that long lasting. It probably lasts like 10 minutes or something like that. I don't notice any plumping in my lips. I'm sure it does something to bring like blood to the surface. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. I'm sure it does something to your lips, but I don't notice it. I really don't. I just love the formula for how juicy and jelly it is. And I love, love, love the color. So this is worth picking up. I don't care if you have other gloss bombs, that is worth it for sure. Okay, I have two other products and actually three. And then I just have a couple products I want to mention that I don't love. Um, one is really dumb, but I really want to mention this to you guys. I don't know why I felt the need to, but we're doing it, I guess. Um, this is my toothbrush. So big news here. I do not know what it is about a regular ass, plain ass toothbrush, but I love it. It is so Here's the thing, when I went to Mexico for my like wedding honeymoon, I didn't forget a toothbrush, but they had a free toothbrush there and it was like regular, like nothing fun about it at all. And I started using it because I don't know. And I was like, this is so much better than the other toothbrushes that have like little silicone like teeth in it and extra little funky bend to it. like. I know if you have like a electric toothbrush, you're probably like, I don't need, you know, a regular ass toothbrush, but I just feel kind of passionate <laughs> about how plain this is and how my teeth feel like this is just getting in there and doing the job. It's not trying to impress you. It just does what it's supposed to do. Okay, enough of this. I just wanted to mention it that I truly am really into that right now. Okay, moving on back to makeup. I have one other makeup product. This is newer to me, but I'm really liking it. And it is from NYX. This is the brow glue. And I have it in my brows, although it's clear, so you can't see it. This is really good at keeping your brows like up, not moving. I mean, it's glue. It really keeps your brows in place. It has this tiny little wand. The one thing that I can see people maybe sort of complaining about is that it is kind of goopy, but I personally like that. Goopy as in when you pull it out, like see there's like kind of a little string there when you pull it out like that, see? It's kind of a little goopy, but I like it because I like to put that on my brows and then wipe them up or you know brush them up. And I feel like very confident that my brows are coated. I don't really like brow products that you can't feel the product coming off the brush because I just, I guess I have too much anxiety and I'm just like, is it working? Did it get on there? This is very effective. And if you're not gonna be bothered by that little bit, I definitely think you should try it. This is my favorite brow gel that I have tried in years. Like literally I have more expensive ones and I have less expensive ones. And this is just like, this is the best that I've tried. So I definitely, because of that, thought it was worth mentioning to you guys. Okay, last favorite. And then on to a couple other things. I talked about this on Instagram, but I just thought you guys might wanna know about it. This is my body scrubber. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link down below. Um, but a lot of sellers have it. This is a two-sided scrubber. So this side is for body wash. And I like this because it suds up really, really well, but I feel like it also rinses out really easily. Like nothing gets like caught in it. 
Um, and it's also not too big for my hand, which not that I have the smallest hands of all time, but I have small hands and this fits nice to where I feel like I can get all over my body without it like slipping off. And then the other side is more spiky for your scalp when you're using shampoo. I do wish that these spikes were a little bit longer, but they are still very effective for your scalp. But mostly, even if it didn't have this, I really like this type of scrubber for body wash. Um, so I thought I would mention it. And then I just like put it on, I don't have anything, but I put it on like my um, products, on the top of my products, and it just like drips out and I feel like it's getting, you know, all the water out. And I just, I really like it. So like I said, wanted to mention it. Then I have, as I mentioned, two products that I just wanted to talk about briefly. They're not really fails. Well, the first one's not a fail, but I just want to mention it. So this is kind of like an update for you. I got the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara and I have it on today, but I'm also wearing lashes. So no point in showing that. This is what the wand looks like. And I got it because of the wand because I love these more hourglass shaped wands like that. Some of my favorite mascaras have that type of wand, like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and then also my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. They both have that type of wand. So that's why I picked this up. And also I think it was like $6. I do like this and I think it's good, but it's not my favorite. I won't repurchase it. It's almost too, like if you like fluffy, wispy lashes, this would be good. But as far as like thick volumized lashes where they're really coated and as thick as possible, this just doesn't do it. So as far as coating my lashes and you know, getting them nice and black for false lashes, this is working out great. But I just wanted to give you an update for you know, what my thoughts were on this. It's, it's not a favorite, but it's not a fail. A fail that I have, however, I feel really sad and annoyed by this. Um, this is from Huda Beauty. This is one of her newer lip contours in the shade two, warm brown. What's so annoying is this is such a great everyday color. Do you see that? Absolutely phenomenal color, very smooth product. I do tend to like a pencil that I can sharpen for a lip liner, but this, is still really nice and I loved how smooth it is. Here's the weirdest problem ever. This product is super long wearing on your lips, but it does not stay this color. It literally will stain your lips, like wherever you put it, like a taupe gray. I will try to remove my makeup and I have to like scrub at my lips. And if it was the same color, I'd be like, hey guys, really long wearing, have to work to get it off, but it's great, but it's not. It's like a taupe, literal gray. That's not ever the look I'm going for. So this is pretty much unusable as far as I'm concerned. I honestly could not figure out what was happening for the longest time. And then I heard somebody else mention it and I was like, that is what is doing that to my lips. So I can't ever recommend this to you guys and I probably will never use it again. Okay, and that is everything that I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed being here. I really appreciate your time and attention. Um, also subscribe if you wanna see my future videos. I do really appreciate that as well and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.